In this video, we'll see a numerical problem based on the definition of inverse of a function. We have already seen two numerical problems and we have also got some insights to what is inverse, what is the methodology to find the inverse. In this question, let's see what the question has to say and let's solve. Check whether the following function has inverse. The question does not ask me to find what is the inverse. In fact, it asks me just one thing that is inverse of this problem existing or not. Is it possible to find the inverse of this question or not? So, the function name is given as h and we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 elements in the domain and 7, 9, 11, 13 on the right hand side. So, I can form a function from this information as f or you can say h only. It would be better because h is given in the question. So, let's write h as an ordered pair relationship. Now, what is the ordered pair relationship? 2 is associated with 7. So, you write 2 comma 7. Then what is the next association? 3 is associated with 9. So, you write 3 comma 9. What is the other association? 4 is associated with 11. So, you write 4 comma 11. And what is the next association? 5 is associated with 13. So, you write 5 comma 13. Now, these four correspondences or mappings are enlisted. One thing is sure that inverse of a function exists if and only if the function is bijective that is 1 1 on 2. So let me check whether this association is 1 1. Yes it is 1 1 because different elements are associated with different elements of the second set. Since different elements of the first set are associated with different elements of the second set so it is 1 1. So yes it is a 1 1 function. Now what about on 2? We have the codomain written here as 7, 9, 11, 13 and with the codomain all the elements are associated one by one. That means the range is equal to the codomain. Since the range is equal to codomain, so it is on 2 also. So it is 1, 1 on 2 and when a function is 1, 1 on 2, we say the function is bijective function and when the function is bijective function, the function is invertible. That means inverse of the function can exist because the function h is what? Bijective function and so it is invertible. In this video, we saw a numerical problem based on the definition of inverse that inverse of a function can only exist if the function is a bijective function.